It's Monday, everybody. We're back live. Give everyone a chance to come on in and join us. Hope everyone had a wonderful weekend. I would say mine was adequate. Uh, <laughs> uh oh, who just jumped on? It's probably me watching me. Hello, hello, hello. Shout outs. Let's see who's out there today. Who we got watching? Who do we got watching? All right, everybody. Everybody. Bob. Hell yeah. What's up, Bob? How are you? Sending you away. Bob, Bob, Bob. Bob, Bob, Baran. Boom, boom, ba -dum. Bob, how was your weekend, by the way? I hope it was a good one. All right. So I got a lot of stuff up top to show all you guys. Mixed bag of the Coffee Comics store today and eBay store. Also, I'm going to show you guys some of the stuff that we got on display for the upcoming Kickstarter on August 14th. Show you guys what we're offering. A tease. Not everything's going to be shown, but, you know, got to give you a little taste of what we got coming up on the Kickstarter. So thank you very much. Bob! <laughs> Bob, mine was, my weekend was good, Bob. Um, I redid my turtle habitat. I uh, got it all cleaned up and put in some peat moss and some Galapagos moss so they can graze. So I have to say uh, it was very productive. Thank you for asking. I'll start things off with a lot of little naughty books that we are showing for you all here that are be at the Coffin Comics store. First one up is The Unholy Ruin, number two, naughty edition by the great and the mighty DeBalfo. Um, I had to hand draw my stars on because my star stickers were too small to contain the beauty of this book. Literally, um, none of the stickers would fit over any of the um, naughty bits on the DeBalfo. So Mr. DeBalfo, um, I need to get bigger stickers for your art. <laughs> Some other cool stuff that's on the uh, Coffin Comic Store. We're getting used to that after seeing Lady Death Store for so long. But I'll figure it out. Um, we've got some really good stock of the Nightmare Symphony Number no. 1's Premium Foil Edition. This is done by Ebass. Um, Brandy had censored it by putting a little sticker on one of the butt cheeks. Um, it looked really cute and adorable. Uh, I wish she left it on, but she took it off. So she censored it only to uncensor it. Um, so I was like, well, I think you can show a little bit of booty on Facebook. But anything else? No, you can't do that. Some other cool Unholy Ruin editions I have is the E-Bass Premium Foil. Now, I was really happy I got to find the original versions of this, which was the naughty for the Kickstarter. And I think I might have found one or two more. I just got to do some more digging. And if I do have them, I'll be putting them up on the eBay store. Um, hopefully I have more than one because the last time I put some up, uh, everyone scooped them up. Also, everybody, um, if you're checking out the eBay store, um, some of the stuff I might show you are possibly gone already. Um, I The minute I've been posting stuff on eBay, they're getting gobbled up real quick. So... Um, Reach out to me if you're wondering if there's anything still available that I'll be showing you guys today for the eBay store. So please let me know. I'll give you an answer and let you know if I have it yay or nay. Um, but for everyone who's been ordering stuff, um, 
there's a gentleman out in Australia, Chris. Um, Chris, thank you very much for your orders. Uh, I appreciate it. Um, also, a uh, wonderful gentleman in Italy. I'm forgetting his name right now, but um, they, oh, Ricardo. Ricardo, thank you very much. I don't know if you'll see this video, but hello to uh, Italy and Ricardo out there. Thank you very much. Um, your English is not bad when you're sending the message. They're actually really good, and I look forward to your messages. So shout out to him as well. Also, um, uh, thank you to everyone who's watching. Sorry we weren't here last week. We had a bad glitch with internet. Uh, the heat, I'm sure, is probably melting the wires and everything. So for a couple weeks there, we kept losing internet for a while. Uh, Monday last week, uh, that happened. So if that ever is coming down the pipe, um, I will give you guys a one-hour heads up on my Facebook page, Hooligan, uh, just to let you guys know, hey, there won't be a show today, or if we're going to be re broadcasting an episode, but uh, thank you everyone for the, especially Haley, I'm glad you were checking up on me and my health, thank you very much, um, Susie right away says like you got to reply back to Haley, people might think you're sick, so wasn't sick, uh, we just lost internet for a long period of time, and of course, the minute I'm on the freeway heading home, the internet pops back up, so you know, it's the way it goes, um, so thank you everyone for the uh, concern, I am fine. Judy is fine, we just had no internet. So, next up, this will be on the eBay store. If you are new here, or this is, isn't the eBay store, the Coffee Comics store. Um, if you're new here, you'll see links. Um, go ahead and click on those. One will be for the Coffee Comics shops, one will be for the uh, eBay store, one is for our VIP newsletter, which I highly recommend you sign up for. Jimmy really puts some great information on there for you all and uh, it lets you know what we got coming down the pike. Uh, for Kickstarters, newer editions, art books, whatever Coffin Comics is doing, that's where you'll find that information. And we also have there a 15 page preview for the Lady Death Chaos Rules, which is the beginning of the Coffin Universe storyline with Lady Death. So, a lot of cool stuff for you to click on and check out. Uh, next up on the Coffin Comics store, I have Nightmare Symphony number two. This is a direct market by the famously amazing Mike DeBalfo. Oh, excuse me, not Mike DeBalfo, Mike Diodato. Excuse me, too many mics in my head. This is the premium foil edition. So the nice foil, I didn't want to take it out of its shrink wrap because that's how it came uh, from, the public, from the printers. So I figured I'll keep it in there since I'm using this as a prop. I don't want to damage the book at all. So this stuff you can find on the Coffee Comics store. Let's go ahead and click on the links. Do your search. Now I got a couple more from a very talented artist, Greg Horn. This is Lady Death Heartbreaker Greg Horn Naughty Edition. We did 250 of these. There's a few left. So we thought they'd show it to you. There's my sloppily drawn stars to cover up all the naughty bits. Yes. Hopefully I'll get, uh, Randy said the uh, stickers we have, um, the skull stickers that we'll be using for our little sensor bars should be coming around soon, so I'm excited. I can't wait to get them. Hopefully they're big enough to cover up all the nipple area because some of our artists draw large nipples. So, Dan Mendoza, you are one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we have the Greg Horn Nice Edition. And if I recall, I believe we offered these for Mardi Gras. Beautiful art, beautiful painting, beautiful image. Greg Horn. This is the nice edition. I do have a naughty, we do have a nice. Kind of showing you guys a little bit of everything here. Well, of course I do the reverse thing on my phone instead of turning it on, turn it off. Uh, hey Matt, how are you? Uh, which one were you looking at? <coughs> um, the Greg Horn ones? I have those, naughty and nice. Uh, click on the link, Matt. Um, definitely give a shout out. Um, when I get to the right one, I have Ebass, Eric Basaluda, uh, Mike Diodaro Jr. I just showed. And then I also have the uh, Jim Ballant Premier Foil Edition. And then I also have the uh, DeBalfo um, Naughty Unholy Ruin 2. So. Just click on the link, Matt, and shop away. 
Shiny and metally, okay. And it could have been, here you go, Matt. I'm gonna bring these up to you so you can take a look. I actually put up a couple of Premier Foils. There was this one, Diodato Jr. Okay, and then I also showed the uh, E-Bass Unholy Ruin Premier. So I got that one I showed you. And all this stuff is on the links. <laughs> we'll shop away. Thank you, Matt. Thank you for joining us. Um, where are you watching us from, Matt? Introduce yourself to the crowd. Um, we have a really great book group of folks here that are friendly. And um, I always like it when any people introduce themselves and give shout outs. So let us know where you're joining us from. And hopefully your weather is way better than it is here in Arizona because it sucks. Next up, I have the Lady Death Naughty Zodiac. This is an older direct market edition. Got a few of these left. I think um, we're probably right down to just straight, I think maybe only Naughty and maybe some premium foil editions or premier foil, it's Monday. Premier foil edition uh, left on this Zodiac book. No, uh, those are real popular and actually I need to, uh, for my kitchen in St. Louis, make shredded chicken chipotle nachos. Matt, I'm coming over. I'm leaving now and I'm driving to St. Louis. Um, I have not been to that town. I've driven through it, but I really loved how that town looked and it just made me want to walk down the street. So thank you, Matt. And I hope that sounds like an amazing dinner. Uh, now I want nachos. Next up, we have the Mike DeBalfo Nightmare Symphony, Naughty Edition. This, again, is another direct market thing. I had to put in my own stars because those nipples are too big for my stickers. The beautiful piece. Mr. DeBalfo is always knocking them out of the park for us. So we appreciate all the hard work that all our artists have done to us and contributors have done um, over the years. So thank you, guys. We really love what you do for us. David Harrigan, Unholy Ruin, Naughty Edition. This one, I can put stickers on. See? Yay! Perfect stickers. This is all available at the Coffin Comics shop. Go ahead and click on the link. Make your selections. So some other cool things I'd like to show you guys that are also on the Coffin Comics store. I have the Extinction Express number one, Naughty Edition. Uh, this is, again, an older, naughty, direct market edition that we offered. And you'll notice the difference. Um, a lot of people are like, how come some titles have one, some have one and two? Well, it used to be we put out most of our books to the direct market in just a one edition um, book. It was 48 pages. Uh, and then right around, um, I want to say, Unholy Ruin, we took the books and we split them into 24 pagers, more of your traditional size comic books you find in the shops. Um, so Lady Death and a couple La Muerta uh, editions uh, have ones and twos. Um, for Lady Death, it's been Unholy Ruin onwards. And for La Muerta, we did it for Last Rites, if I recall. Speaking of really gorgeous pieces of work. This is done by Sabine Rich. Um, I really this, I really like her style a lot. It's just fun, it, it, it totally fits us, um, but she has a little fun in her art, and I really enjoy the demons she did on this one. This is the Lady Death Nightmare Symphony Naughty Leviathan Edition. Really adorable. I really love those shadow demons behind her. I really love those. And I like, again, how everyone does the energy source of their character of our characters differently. Um, and I really like everyone has their own interpretation of the power-ups and the energy and just the beauty of our characters. So this is the Naughty Leviathan. Only 400 were made. Um, I don't know how many are left, but I'm sure they're going to go quick because it's Sabine Rich. It's a beautiful piece, and just look at it. There's also a um, regular edition of that. I think I have that somewhere that I will show to you all a little bit later. Let's see here, next up. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Okay, let's not close that up at all. 
All right, next up we have the La Muerta number one Ascension. This is the blackout edition. 10% of the run of the La Muerta Ascension, we did a blackout edition where it was just all black backgrounds. I really love the red foiling. Mixes well with the roses. If I recall, this is uh, $25, $30 roughly. So definitely check it out. So there is very limited amounts of the blackouts. Once we are out of those, that's it. Um, I might have one or two left on eBay, but not very many. So if you're hesitating, don't. Some other cool stuff that we do uh, for direct markets and are available to you all at the Coffin Comics Store is the raw editions. One thing that's cool about these is these are basically the uh, imagery is just straight inks. There's no coloring on them, so you can get the raw look of the art. This is done by Microme. This is the Unholy Ruin number one. 500 made. Again, this is a direct market copy, so once these are gone, that's it. That is all she wrote. Really beautiful piece. And that's one thing I love about um, different stages of the art making process is when you see the rough sketches uh, and it's like, wow, that's where they're getting up, sketching out the ideas and slowly refining it until boom, you got the inker on there, fleshing out more details, bringing out um, the life, I like to say on it. And then the colorist goes on over and boom, adds the color. Well, these ones, you can definitely see what it looks like with just the uh, inks and pencils on it. So I love these raw editions. They're really nice to look at. And it's really cool to see the process of the art go, uh, go on as we produce these things. Next up, we have the Lady Death Hell Raiders number one raw edition. Really cool, classic. All the characters are just coming at you full force, ready for battle. That is such a great classic image right there. That is beautiful. This one is done by uh, Diego Bernard and Allison Rodriguez is the inker. Another Mike Chrome coming up. This is the Merciless Onslaught 1 Raw Edition. There was only 300 of these published. So I'm sure we don't have many since these were available for the direct market. And we have some available for you today. Another wonderful cover by Mike Chrome. Again, just very stunning, very beautiful. I, I love the bats. I just really just sell this piece for me a lot. Just really gorgeous, and I love her pose. Someday, maybe my next life, I could pose like that. Yeah, yeah, sexy pin-up poses. I could do them now, but it looks silly. It's not as beautiful as you would think it is. All right, next up, we have the Lady Death Extinction Express Raw Edition. Only 400 were made of this edition, and I believe this is done by... Ooh, who is the artist? Really stunning piece. Paolo Pat Patanina. Paolo Patanina, who does most of the covers for our Lady Death Kickstarters. But look at this. This one I like because it's showing you the like purple inking on top of the art. Really nice, and the hordes of demons reaching up to her, and the dead just like crying out, Take me with you! Gorgeous piece, really nice piece. This is all stuff you'll find at the Coffin Comic Shop. All right, another edition we got the Damnation Game number one, Temptress Edition. Ooh, really stunning. This is done in 2015. All the skull, the skeleton of the snake just wrapping around her body is just amazing. Now this one, again, is offered on the direct market. Um, you can get it for $7.99 here at the Coffin Comics Shop. It's 48 pages. And it's the entire Damnation game in one volume. So if you want a reader copy, a copy to, to keep that doesn't, that gets preserved, don't get touched, something to show off to your friends for your collection. Um, we've got those, and then we also have great copies and editions for you to read, hand out to people, kind of spread the word of Lady Death to your friends and neighbors and other comic book readers. And then uh, some other fun stuff we got on the Coffin Comic Store is the Lady Death 
Revelations. This is the Death Widow Emerald Edition. We offered this at the um, Emerald City Comic Con. Uh, it was canceled, so we did it all here in-house. We set up our museum, kind of like a convention floor, kind of like what you would expect when you would come see us at a convention. And um, sounds like everyone really enjoyed it. So we'll be doing something like that similar coming up in September. And also, if you're ordering anything off of the store or eBay store, Brian is more than willing to uh, sign anything you guys like. Um, just let us know if you want anything signed um, on eBay. Just put it in the notes section or in the buyer section for comments. Or just shoot me a message and let me know that you would like your order signed and we'll get them all laid out and signed for you. Just know it will add some time in getting those books out to you in a quick fashion. But, you know, Brian uh, does this all for free. So if you want a nice free signature on your books, just ask and we will make sure it gets done. Another very popular image, oops, this one I forgot to censor, so I gotta use my finger sensors, is the Lady Death Apocalyptic Abyss <laughs> Hell Witch Edition. This is the nice, my finger's in position. Uh, yeah, that's the naughty. Yeah, I can't do that right. Let me set this down and do it better so you can get a full image. There you go. That's the naughty. See right where my finger is? That's, that's where they think it's naughty. That's what I gotta cover up, unfortunately. Otherwise you would see these beautiful images from Sabine Rich. Another beautiful image from Sabine Rich. <clears throat> cover up that naughty one since I did that before. Then over at the eBay store, well, I got a couple stuff lined up for y'all. Um, some of the fun things I found. Where did I put them? Oh, here they are. Got a few challenge coins. I got a gold challenge coins for you guys. I think I have about three or four of these. So whatever's left is left. That's it. These were part of the um, set you can order on the store where you can get uh, gold, silver, and bronze. We had um, some of the rejected sets we had. Um, we just went ahead and pulled out the coins that look the best and used those. There's not many of these left, so. I also have the bronze. I think I put up four bronze and silver. Hey, AJ Taylor, thank you for joining us. Good evening to you too, man. So I have gold and I have bronze challenge coins. Get them while I have them. Also, another really cool thing I found, and thank you, Brandy, and everyone in the uh, that works in the warehouse. Um, when they find it, like the last stock or the onesies or stuff that they're like, "Hey, this is not in the store. Do with it as you will." I love that because then I find stuff like this. This is the uh, Universal Salsa? No, Oblivion Kiss Kickstarter metallic card set. We have such. Beautiful pieces as the Skull Pop from Mark Silvestri. The Harrowing by Richard Ortiz and C.C. De La Cruz. Beautiful piece. And this is a complete set. Also, we have the very beautiful Unholy from Don Teague and C.C. De La Cruz. That's a gorgeous image right there. And this is a metallic card set I put on the eBay store. Then you have J. Scott Campbell. This is really nice and white. And then also in that set <coughs> is one of these chase cards by Scott Lewis. So Scott Lewis fans, big fans, this is the last set I could find that have a chase edition. So this is the only set left. I have it on the eBay store. I believe it's on an auction and I think there's about a day or two left on it. So this is the last set from Oblivion Kiss, which if I recall right, that was four years ago now? Jeez, time flies. Some other cool stuff uh, that they found for me in the warehouse to sell to you guys on the eBay store. 
Um, I was able to get my hands on another copy of Lady Death's Sad Girl Psycho Baby Crossover Edition. This is the nice version. There is a naughty one. I am out of those, but hopefully if I get some more, I will put them up there for you guys. But so far, to my knowledge, this is the last copy that is not a vault. I don't even know if I have vault copies. I'll know later. Uh, then I also threw up some classic stuff. This is the Purgatory Collected Edition Volume 3. This collects issues 5 and 6 of the Purgatory series back from our classic Chaos Comic days. So all you Purgatory fans, if you like the classics, we got them. And also if you're a fan of Purgatory, I highly recommend our Hellwitch character. Um, she is a lot more vicious and brutal than Purgatory, and I really think you guys would like her. I highly recommend Hellwitch if you're a fan of Purgatory. So please check out Hellwitch. We have two stories for her so far. Hellborn is chapter one, and the Forsaken is uh, chapter two, and that's the newest one that just came out. So gotta check it out, guys. Especially if you're an old Chaos fan, you gotta check it out. Next up, uh, Scorch Earth Metallic Jeweled Edition. I believe this is also the last one of these. And that's not a scratch. It's actually a scratch on the plastic, not on the cover. Because sometimes those jewels will just tear right into that plastic. And just to answer anyone's questions, jeweled editions cannot get graded. Um, those jewels will scratch up that plastic and they might break off, what have you. So uh, I've had a couple people ask if jeweled editions can be graded. They cannot. So, But another beautiful edition that can be graded, and it's signed by the great Don McTeague, is this, the Unholy Ruin number one, Unholy Naughty Metal Edition. Let's see. What's the number? This is number 12 out of 26. I have this on a bid. This is the last one. This is it. This was offered during our uh, Dog McTeague Artist Celebration. Um, so if you guys didn't uh, join us for that, definitely check out our YouTube channel. There should be a link on it down below. Click on it and subscribe, and you'll see a lot of our artists. We did artist celebrations. Jimmy did amazing interviews with the artists, and just watching them work and where their uh, thought processes are. And, developing books and, and developing their craft. It's a lot of fun to watch. And the Don McTeague one was pretty cool to watch her do uh, a sketch. So it's a lot of fun to watch. I totally check it out. That's our YouTube channel. Another cool one, uh, another onesie I found. And this one was cool because it was signed by Brian. Uh, this is uh, Lady Death Unholy Ruin. This is a mega foil edition. Gorgeous piece. This is it. So far, I haven't found any in a vault, so who knows if there's any left at that point. Um, very beautiful cover, very beautiful image. Yeah, well, I got them. They are almost gone. Dude, Don's work, I got to agree with you, Jay. Uh, Don's work is truly stunning. So, great artist. And we are very lucky and blessed to have her working for us. She just does amazing work. Next up, Lady Death Apocalyptic Abyss, Lady Slave Action Figure Edition. This is done by Marat Michaels. These are a lot of fun. I had a miscard version of this, I think from the year before this edition uh, came out. Uh, someone scooped that up right away. Um, it's a lot of fun. Uh, it, it took literally five minutes. I put it up and it was gone just like that. So that's why I tell folks, if you see something you like, click it and get it. Um, some of this stuff, once I upload things, they're gone immediately. So I do not kid. <laughs> Excuse me. Another thing I uploaded on eBay, these, um, I think I only had two copies, and this might be possibly the last of them. It's the Lady Death Merciless Onslaught. This is the Naughty Caprice. And I also have the, um, variant image of this. I have the, um, First appearance Caprice, also on the eBay store. And we may still have some copies also on the Comic Comic store. So you got two options to go. If you can't find it on one, go to the other. We might just have it there for you. Damnation Game, number one, Strike Edition, another Marat homage 
to the Incredible Hulk. I can't remember the issue number, but this is a great, great cover. It's homaging where it was uh, Wolverine's claws and you had um, the Hulk's, um, so either the Hulk's or Wolverine's image in those claws because they were, I believe they were hollow foil too. But yeah, great image. Thank you, Marat. Keep knocking them out of the park for us. Always fun to be working with Mark Michaels. Also on eBay, I was really cool, very lucky to come across these. It's from Blasphemy Adam. Blasphemy Adam. Blasphemy Anthem. This is the Metal Jeweled Edition. This is number 13 out of 13. It's a Mark Brooks cover. This is a solid metal cover. This is number 13 out of number 13. And it comes with the really cool metal COA. So check it out. Metal, metal, metal. Five artist proofs. That's it. Once they're gone, they're gone, guys. That is one of those really beautiful things we throw in after Kickstarters. Another really cool item I found, Apocalyptic Viss Hollow Foil Edition. We made uh, 350 of these. All of these, unfortunately, have uh, little roller marks right there. There's nothing that could be done on those. This is the very early stages of us doing uh, hollow foil. And the one that followed this, Unholy Ruin, uh, turned out amazing. Um, perfect. So you can see where the printer really worked hard to get rid of, of some of the lines that appear on the apocalyptic version and then the next Kickstarter, they had it all worked out. It's really cool to see that. Just did a few short months, they flipped it, found the problem, fixed it, and now the books look great. All right, I also was able to get some malevolent decimation books up there. I have um, some uh, premier editions, the nice gold foil, it's a sample of one. There is even some available signed. Maybe one or two are available. If not, well, I'll have to make sure I can get my hands on some more. But this is our newest chapter, chapter 11. And on August 14th, we will start, do our Kickstarter for chapter 15, or chapter 12. Oh, it is a Monday. Chapter 12, and I'm going to be showing you guys some of the cool stuff we're offering on Kickstarter. So, can't wait. Next up, Blasphemy Anthem Secret Edition. There's 250 of these. I just so happened to get a copy that was signed. And this is my only one available at the moment. I do have some in the Nick and Dent or Scratch and Dent selection, but not many of those are flying out as well. Yes, that's... Thank you. I was wondering that, that same image. It's like, why does that image... You know, sticking in my head, it's making me, reminds me of something. And that's it. It's the Cradle of Filth cover, uh, album cover. Thank you, Jay. You just solved the mystery because every time I looked at that image, I'm like, what the hell does this remind me of? So props to you, Jay. You get an A for the day. Next up, I only have one of these. This is the Sworn Center Edition from Blasphemy Anthem. This one is signed. Right down there, boom, boom, boom. Look at that, beautiful. So that's just some of the stuff on both the store and the eBay store. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take my camera off the tripod and I'm gonna show you some of the cool stuff um, we got coming your way for our next Kickstarter coming up on August 14th. Please join us. All right, let's get that disconnected, bleep. All right, let's say goodbye, comic shop. Let's do a quick pan of the beauties I was showing you guys. And this is all the stuff you can find both on the eBay store and you can also find it at the Coffin Comic Shop. Beautiful work. You make good books for all you bad boys and girls out there. Boom. King Skull, what's up? All right, let's take a quick look. Maybe we have some guests we can show everyone off to. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh.
You don't want to be seen. Come on. There she goes. Oh, there's Mighty Brandy. Okay. Oh. Here we go. See, there's always secrets going on around here. Here we go. We have the Mike Mayhew Legendary set. Look at this. August 14th, folks. August 14th. Join us as we launch our next Kickstarter. Look at these. Treacherous Infamy. This is the Ultimate Edition set. Look at that. There goes my kneecap. Look at the metallic jewel on this. This is great. Jesse Witchman's really been doing some really great images for the last three metallic jewels. And I think this one of the three is probably my favorite. This one's really nice. Really love the detailing on the armor he did too. It's a beautiful piece. And look at, just, oh. so one thing that's cool about showing you guys the samples, um, before we offer them. You could be right. Give me one quick second. I know it's after my birthday. See, nine days. Nine days it launches. Oh my God, nine days. Feels like what? right when we finished one, we got another one. We are that fast. So nine days, that would be the 12th. You're right. <laughs> I had to do math. 7 p.m. Oh, 7 PM Pacific Daylight Time. Pacific Daylight Time. What channels can they view it on? Facebook Live? Well, sure. I mean, go right to Kickstarter and search term Lady Death Treacherous so you don't miss out on any of the goodies. No, and it's going to be fun. And I'm just going to show you guys a few of these little pieces. I'm going to tease you with just a little bit. Because we're going to have more to reveal to you guys later. So I don't want to ruin any of that. Full preview on Wednesday at 4 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. You heard that. Brian's going to do a full reveal of everything offered on the Kickstarter. Wednesday at 4 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. Ooh. Now look at this. Is this a uh, follow-up to the other Sworn cover? I think so. Because that book was hot. And this one's... Wow. That's exactly what it is. So the other one's behind it. That is beautiful. This back piece is really nice. There's the front. There's the original one we offered. It's a couple years ago. And then boom, the follow-up. That is stunning. Wow. Mike Chrome does it again. Look at that beautiful piece, guys. Oh, Jay, is your birthday on August 14th then? Because if you're a Leo, I'm a Leo. So happy birthday, fellow Leo. Here's some of the Chase editions. We'll be offering it's the red Cover art emerald walt simonson Walt the legend okay brian how giddy were you when walt simonson said yeah i'd love to do these covers i was like i had a fanboy <laughs> moment <laughs> so walt simonson the legend so great to work with walt on that cover that's cool Walt Simonson, August 10th, dude, if I don't see, uh, if I see you before then on the internets or anything, happy birthday to you, man. Happy birthday. I hope you have a really great day on the 10th. So these are the Walt Simonson Chase Editions that we will be offering on our Kickstarter coming up on the 12th. Why don't you tell uh, folks how the chases work? What's kind of cool is you don't know what you're going to get. Yeah, you never know what you get. You just pick the chases. I've packed some orders uh, when I was doing a lot of the packing when I first started here. And people would order anywhere from like 3 to 10, um, just whatever they could get to fill their collections. And one thing that's cool is on the Swore Nation, um, watching everyone show off as they get closer and closer to completing the chase sets is a lot, a lot of fun. It's always fun when you can help people finish off their collections because you don't know what you get in the chase editions. Because I had some uh, mock-ups and some of the older ones, like Chaos Rules. Um, I found some of those. Uh, I found some La Muerta ones, which are gone. Dude! Landon, yours is the eighth, mine's the eighth too. Happy birthday, Landon. Wow, all the Leos are in the house. This is the Leo episode. There you go, here is the 
softcover edition, Treacherous Infamy. The cosplay cover, I think a lot of people are definitely excited about that one. The Amazing Homage, which is done by Marat Michaels. Did Marat Michaels do this one? Yep. No, nope. Stephen Butler did this one for us. This is great because that is the homage to the first Superman comic, Superman number one in 1940. Another beautiful walk away by Sun K. Beautiful. Look at that. Now this one's really cool. This one I'm, I'm really excited to get put in y'all's hands. This is the Jeweled Edition uh, by Shannon Mayer. Beautiful, and I really love what Shannon did with the eyes. That's just really cool. So Shannon really busted her butt getting all this stuff done for us to show you today, to present to you. This is the hollow foil cover, and this is really nice. Beautiful piece, look at this. Look at the detailing in that, and I love what they did with her hair. Dude, some great detail in the background. Look at this, guys. Chapter 12, Lady Death, Treacherous Infamy. I'm not going to say it three times fast yet. All right, this is the Heavy Metal Edition. Wow. Can't wait to make these. I also get to make the uh, medals for you guys. About a year ago, and not started later, but after hearing get things on where is a good place to start. Oh, well, you know what, dude, Landon, we actually have a 15-page preview digitally on the links uh, that you'll see off to the side or below you of the video. So we've got to try out one, and we've got plenty of editions to sell you. Um, right now, we have 12 chapters. Well, 11. We're getting ready to start production on our 12th one on our Kickstarter. Um, I highly recommend it. And if you want to go for the classics, go for the classics. But they're not necessary. Right where our books start off, boom, there you go. It's got it all set up. Gives you a brief explanation about what's been going on. And then jump forward, and there you go. Um, I also recommend our other characters. Hell Witch is another one of our characters, as is La Muerta. And here's where you can... There you go, Landon. Chapter 1, Chaos Rules, Premier Edition. There's your chapter two, The Damnation Game. Chapter three, Extinction Express. Chapter four, Oblivion Kiss. <laughs> uh, yep. Thank you, Jay. Yeah, let's, everybody, let's get uh, Landon into our books. Let's tell him where to start. Let's get him part of the club. Merciless Onslaught is chapter five. Chapter six, Unholy Ruin. Chapter 7, Apocalyptic Abyss. Chapter 8, you have the Nightmare Symphony. Chapter 9 is Scorched Earth. Blasphemy Anthem is Chapter 10. And then Chapter 11, Malevolent Decimation. And then join us on August 12th, dude, two days after your birthday. You get to see what our Kickstarters are all about. And it's a lot of fun to watch them. Um, we always have fun here. Uh, the drinks are flowing. Everyone's laughing. Everyone's excited. We have artists and creators, you know, joining us. Um, I, I agree with you, Jay. That's one of my favorite ones. And Joel Gomez, uh, I got to give a shout out to Joel Gomez for the really cool uh, Godzilla sketch La Muerta uh, cover he, I found on my desk today. It was a nice surprise. So uh, thank you very much, Joel. Uh, it was really cool to get that today. Um, so, yeah, also, as Jay says, La Muerta is amazing, and then Hell Witch is um, probably one of our more hard edge characters. I mean, <laughs> she gets pretty hardcore. Look at this. We're get, breaking out some big posters again. I mean, we try to mix it up, change things around. Uh, also, this Friday, we are launching our Summer of Sin finale. For those who have joined us, uh, Lorenzo Sperlonga is doing the, uh, or what we're offering his arts for. Swimsuit, there's the nice. Only 250 of these, and there is the naughty. It's a naughty metal, oh, I'm gonna be making those too. Speaking of other metal covers that will be available, 
limited to 26 on the metals, guys. So if you see him scooping up, scoop him up. Also, the uh, Malevolent Decimation Memorial uh, Devil Lock Edition. We've got some of those that will be available. And, of course, um, you can't go without the 11 by 17 prints. Here's some samples there. So, um, Gary Compton, I'm sure I'll be hearing from you soon, probably tomorrow. <laughs> some of the metallic cards we'll be offering. So, yeah, definitely, guys, we got a lot coming down the pike. Um, it's been a heck of a summer. Um, it's been hot here. And, uh, of course, you know, we're all living in these weird times. But um, one thing I'll say about this is everyone in the comics industry has barely been pulling together and just making it so life can be easier for all of us. Here I am back in HQ gift shop. Go. So real quick, um, Jay Taylor, thank you very much for uh, helping me. Um, also, I want to give a shout to Landon. Thank you for joining us. Um, please uh, send me messages either at inquiries at coffincomics.com or you can also um, message me, Hooligan, uh, on Facebook. Friend me and message me there if anyone has any questions. I'm always here for you guys. I love hearing from everyone. I'm actually surprised um, Haley isn't on here yet. She's probably going to wake up late. And I'll see a post from her later. It's like, oh, I missed the show. It was late. So, Landon, where are you joining us uh, from? Give a shout out. Let's actually, you know, what? I'm going to put you on screen with me real quick. See if I can do that real fast. Um... Like that. Let's see if I can get you on screen. Ah, it's not letting me. All right, I'll have to try that out later. Bend, Oregon, dude! Bend! I actually lived in Oregon for about four years. I lived in Portland, um, right around the uh, Lloyd Center. Uh, and I lived in the Hollywood neighborhood for a little bit. And I lived in Selwood for about a year. So, yeah, dude. Love Oregon. Great town to be in. If no one's been to uh, Oregon, check that state out. It is a fun state. It's right next to Washington, another really cool state. So right on, dude. It's always good to see someone from Bend, Oregon, or anywhere in Oregon. So shout out to Oregon. So yeah, this is just some of the stuff we were showing you, including we got some of the classic stuff on eBay and on the stores. So if you're into chaos... We got your chaos books. If you're into the old uh, Avatar stuff, we have some of those left. But we are all about Coffin Comics and all things Lady Death and the Coffin Verse, including La Muerta and Hell Witch. Let's see how much time do we have left, real quick? Bingo. Oh, Twelve more minutes. Anyone have any questions for Landon? Landon Scully is in the house. He just joined us. Show you guys a couple other things. I have some gold challenge coins on the eBay store. Not many left. I think I have three or four. I also have a bronze challenge coin. About three or four of these left. Um, hopefully I will find silver and I can do a silver and gold song for you. But uh, so far I haven't run across any silver. Right here on the eBay store. This is the sworn center guard this one is signed by brian i also have the naughty caprice lady death wars lady slave action figure a couple of those left uh i also have the amazing the extremely rare number 13 of bless me anthem metal legend cover and yes, it does have the metal COA that goes with it. Metallic jeweled, scorched earth. Last one so far. This is it. Once it's gone, it is gone. Lady Death Blast Me Anthem Secret Edition. This one, I'm lucky enough, is signed in gold by Brian. Got one of those. There's also a couple other versions uh, of these books I do have as well. This is Strike. This is the Lady Death Damnation game. 
Unholy Ruin, number one, Unholy Naughty Edition by Don McTeague, and it is signed by Don. We offered this on the uh, artist celebration we did. All right. Malevolent Decimation, signed. This is the premiere edition, the gold foiling. Apocalyptic Abyss, hollow foil edition. Two or three left of these. One Holy Ruin Mega Foil Edition. This is the last one we have of those. And this is also signed by Brian. And it does have a COA in the back. COA. Also, anything you guys get signed from Brian at the uh, eBay store um, and the Coffin Comics store, they do come with COAs. Classic Purgatory Collection 3. Lady Death, Sad Girl, Psycho Baby crossover. And this has a, uh, a story of Psycho Girl number one, and it also has uh, Lady Death, The Reckoning, I believe is the other book in there. And they're just nice little samples of the books. Say, Lady Death, Apocalyptic Abyss, Hell Witch Edition. This is limited to 125. Dude, yeah. Yeah, those are going to look great. They're beautiful. Uh, Shannon really worked hard. She works hard on everything she does for us, but yeah, the Malevolent Decimation one, she really did an amazing job on. This is the Naughty Hell Witch. Whoop, go by quick, because I didn't put my little stars, stars around the garters. Okay, and then over at the uh, Coffin Comics store, the Death Widow Emerald Action figure. Got a couple of those left. Damnation Game Temptress Edition. Mm -hmm. Oops. Okay. Unholy Ruin number one raw. Only 500 made. I'm sure we have less than that. Hell Raiders Raw Edition. Merciless Onslaught Raw Edition. Limited to 300. I'm sure we're down to less than that. And then we have the Lady Death Extinction Express Raw Edition. There was 400 of these. Definitely have less than 400. Unholy Ruin Naughty Edition. Hey, and I put the stickers on. Yay, stickers. Extinction Express Naughty Edition. Another direct market we offer at the Coffin Comics Store. Lady Death Nightmare Symphony Naughty Leviathan Edition. The La Muerta Blackout Edition. This is for the Ascension. This is chapter five of the La Muerta series. We have the Greg Horn Naughty Edition. And when you buy this, no, it won't have my hand-drawn stars on it. Unless you want it, and then I'll make sure they bag it that way. Greg Horn Nice. Baby death covers? Well, who knows? Maybe those will show up someday. I've only seen one. This is the Lady Death Naughty Zodiac. Let's see, Nightmare Symphony Naughty Edition by Mike DeBalfo. Kept it in the cellophane since I'm going to put it back into the overstock. Straighten that up a bit. Okay, Unholy Ruin 2 by Mike DeBalfo, with stickers. <laughs> baby Death Covers. I'll keep an eye out for Baby Death Covers. Let's see, Nightmare Symphony Premium Hollow Foil Edition. You know, Jay, another time we might have those pop up would be, uh, next time we're doing anything at the vault, keep an eye out. If you hear anything mentioned about the vault and us, because that might be where you can find that type of stuff. This is the Ebass Unholy Ruin Number One Premium Foil. Oh, a few more minutes. And last but not least, this is the Mike Diodato Jr. Nightmare Symphony Two Premium 
foil edition. There we go. And that's just a, a small sampling of some of the things you guys will find at the Coffin Comics store, the eBay store. We have prints. Uh, we have T-shirts. If we have hats, we'll have hats there. Um, we definitely uh, sell through stuff pretty quick. So if there's something you're interested in, please message us to see if it's still available. Or heck, just scoop it up. Message me over at inquiries at coffincomics.com. Or you can find me on Facebook, uh, Hooligan Moraga. Friend me, message me there if you guys are looking for anything particular. Maybe also get a, if you can find a photo of the item too, let me know. Because if I can find it, I will definitely try to get it in your hands somehow. Um, thank you everyone who's joined us today. Um, it was nice to uh, get some new faces in the show. And nice to get you uh, all introducing yourselves to each other. If you guys have any questions, Bob, who's the first one to pop up today, Bob is a great source of information and he's always happy to hook people up um, with some coffin or chaos stuff. He's like the Santa Claus. He's an amazing guy. So reach out to him, introduce yourselves, everyone become friends in this community. Um, I'd like to see it grow and it has been. So met a lot of really great people on this show. So love you guys and I appreciate you and thank you very much. See how much time we have left. I need to get a drink of water because I am dry, dry, dry. Ah, let's see what other questions did we have on the show today? Uh, so, August 12th, Kickstarter. Um, it's going to be amazing. I love the Kickstarters. Um, who knows, I'll be answering questions uh, digitally on the internets. People have questions, so I may be one of the people that will be interacting with you guys. So I'm looking forward to it. Almost out of time. i got a couple more minutes. Um, so thank you, everyone. Thank you, Matt, for joining us. Thank you, Jay Taylor, for joining us. Landon, thank you for joining us. And who else? Do I want? Bob. Chronister, of course, always thank you, Bob. It's always great to have you on here. And um, Miguel, where were you? Haley, I'm sure you overslept because I know on the other side of the world, it is literally uh, morning. So, or you're just waking up. So anyways, I um, hope everyone has an amazing week. Everyone has an amazing weekend. Miguel, wow, Miguel, you were like so late, dude. Wow. Melissa Williams, thank you for joining us. Uh, thank you all. I love I love seeing all these new names popping up. Melissa, where are you joining us from? Before I shut down the show, just trying to get a sense of where everyone's at in the world. Miguel, you're local, so you're dealing with the heat just like we are, which sucks. No rain in the valley. I haven't had any rain in. Over 100 days, I think it is now. It's disgusting. Um, but uh, hopefully we'll get some sort of break from all this grossness. So, yeah. Anyways. I um, also want to give a uh, happy birthday shout out to my niece, Jezebel. She just turned 18. I can't believe it uh, that she's that old already. And she's working hard to finish her high school and graduate and on to college. So happy birthday, Jesse. Love you. Um, hope you had a wonderful birthday. Uh, I'm sure it's weird to be having a birthday during these weird times, but I know you and your mom make the best of it and you had a lot of fun. So anyways, I'm gonna wrap it up. I'm Julian the Hooligan. I'm sworn to you guys. I will see you next Monday. And Jay, KC, and uh, St. Louis. Look at that, boom. Thank you everyone for joining us. Have a wonderful day and I'll be talking to you later. Hasta la bye bye.